Hello my Jacob Boom Booms. We are gonna do my base box unboxing for the month of February. This was sent to me for review purposes, therefore I did not pay for her. Bear in mind if you hear Cam screaming, she's actually having a really good time. Kai is in school and my sister who loves children is actually with Cam. She volunteered. I told her, no, 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 it's fine. You're on vacation. You do not need to babysit. And her response was, shut up, go work. I'm gonna stay with the baby. She loves kids, which I'm grateful for. She's awesome. So we are going to start our base box unboxing. Here is the card. Very similar to the premium. Treat your heart out. It's looking like, I'm not saying that this is what it is, but it's looking like BoxyCharm is basically gonna do the same thing that Ipsy does and they're not even gonna list the product anymore because premium was literally like this. So they're letting you know Epic News is coming, what social media platforms they have so that you can go follow them and that's it. It says the biggest beauty news of the year. I don't, I, I still don't know what that is, but this is very reminiscent to the Ipsy card, except Ipsy's is like folded in half and then you kind of have to open it. I hope that's not the case. I hope that they continue to list the name of the products the brand, details on the product and price point. I think it's very important. I really like when they do that. It allows people, customers, people who are subscribed to see what their value is on the product, how much it's supposed to retail, so that if you love the product, you know from the bat whether or not it's something you're gonna repurchase and invest your money in. That's just a personal opinion. So I'm hoping that this is not the case, but that's what it's kind of looking like. As per usual, I did get my uh, five full size products. And you know, we're gonna reveal them really quickly and then move on to Le Try On. Item number one is the Better Skin Co. Eye Bright. Now it's an anti pie pie. <laughs> it's an anti-puff, anti-dark circle serum. This is what the packaging looks like. It's not necessarily a clear serum. It is clear, but it's kind of like on the yellow side. I don't think I've ever tried this brand. So this is gonna be exciting. It has like the little seal, but you have a dropper. We're gonna try that. Then we have the Golden Fadden MD Solution Vital Boost. That's what she's looking like. It's a really nice size for a moisturizer, it's sealed. It looks like your basic moisturizer. It is white and then it feels like your basic moisturizer has a little bit of a citrusy fragrance, but it kind of goes away. Why does it feel like I have nothing on the back of my hand? It's not an oily moisturizer. Okay, we're gonna try this on the face. I just washed it, which is why it looks kind of dry. <laughs> I just washed it, I did nothing else to it. Then we have the Give Them Lala Beauty Hydro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Booty Call. I've already given you guys my feedback, my idea. Their matte lipsticks suck. I've tried their eyeshadows and their formulas are not where they need to be. They don't blend well. They don't have a lot of pigment. They disappear. Their palettes are not exciting. And that's always been my feedback in my opinion. This one here says Hydro Matte. Here's a swatch. I don't know if it's supposed to hydrate but still be kind of matte. I'm gonna try her. I need to give it a try because the ones that I've tried are all matte and I've truly disliked them. I tried their skincare once. Didn't like it either. So I'm not a fan of the brand. I feel like at some point they need to stop featuring the brand as much as they do here and there because the vast majority of the people who have watched my reviews literally agree that this brand has no hype. There's not the one product that everyone's obsessed with which is what puts them on the platform. It just, we don't get it, you know? But I am gonna try that lippy. And then I got the Real Magnet Mascara by Benefit Cosmetic. I've uh, featured this on my channel several times, mine already expired. It, I think last year was the last time that I featured it, like early last year. Get a weird reaction to anything magnetized, like your lashes and stuff, magnet lashes, the magnet like uh, liquid liner. I don't know why I do get like little bumps and redness and swelling on my eye. So I avoid magnets in general when it comes to the eye area. So when it came to this, I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna love it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I'm not gonna tell you, I love her. I do get PR from, uh, from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm always honest. I can say it's a nice formula. It's a good mascara. And to be fair, I never understood the whole magnet thing. Like what are you doing to my eyes that it has to do with magnet? But the understanding is that the center of the brush actually has a core made of magnets. And so with the formula that apparently also has some magnetic whatever's particles in there, it's supposed to all work together to really pull out, lift, curl your lashes, make them longer, thicker, and it's supposed to stay. I think 
that the way it's been advertised. It's not necessarily a gimmick, but it sounds very gimmicky. It's not your cheapy deepy mascara. It's not the mascara that you're gonna apply and go, oh, it did nothing. It definitely does something, but it's a little on the extra side when it comes to advertisement. The cool thing is if you have like paper clips at your house and you just for fun, if you take the tip and you kind of go at it to the uh, like the paper clips, it does lift them because it's a magnet. I wanna show you guys the applicator work. I've tried their, their real, the regular one, and I've tried this one. To me, they're both very, very similar. I didn't really notice much of a difference. And then last but not least, we ended up getting a Beauty Bakery palette. This is the Proof is in the Puddin. The packaging is cute, of course. It's always cute and creative and always in theme. And then when you open up, you have a super de duper neutral palette. Like, you probably can't get any more neutral than this. This one looks beautiful. Mango pudding is also really nice. This one, Nana Pudding, this is a really nice shade to apply all over the lid if you want to go really natural as well. So it's a nice palette. I don't, let me just swatch this gold one here. But you know what? We're gonna go ahead and really, really give it a try because at the end of the day, I can sit here and swatch it and say it looks amazing. But once you start applying on your eye and you blend out with a brush, if it disappears like the last one did, it's gonna suck. Let's start off with the eye serum, it like this. Oh, it's liquidy. Look, I'm not even squeezing. It's just like, so those were like three drops that like dropped themselves. I am going, oh, it's cooling, non-fragranced. You see my little, hopefully this works. I'm sure you need ongoing use in order to notice a difference, but I'm just gonna tap it and just kind of leave it in there. And then while that's, you know, doing its job, on the under eye, I'm gonna apply some moisturizer but I don't like this. It kind of looks like I have nothing and then I'm just gonna pat it so that I can get most of the product where it needs to be. It does, you know, my skin doesn't feel like I oily, tacky or anything. It kind of feels really hydrated as if I did nothing though. I gave myself a good two to three minutes. This is what my under eyes are looking like, technically speaking. I don't feel like it's done much of anything. I do have some dark circles happening and some puffiness. Again, I don't think this is something that's going to like relieve the under eye area in just five to 10 minutes. But you know, skincare is something that you have to use for several weeks in order to really see a drastic improvement. So I'm cool with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and prep my face so we can work on the eyeball. We are ready to dive on in. And I'm gonna dip into bread pudding. I've already prepped my lids with uh, Gerard Cosmetics' Clean Canvas in Fair. And we are going to apply red pudding towards the outer portion of the crease. So not necessarily directly in the crease, not in here, just above that. This is going to be a really nice transition shade, I hope. It's giving something. It's not It's not giving too much, but it's giving. You see what I'm saying? There's a little bit of a transition situation happening. So it's almost creating a little bronze effect for my eye. Now I'm gonna go in with the same brush. It's a big fluffy brush. This one is by Ofra Cosmetics. It is their number one pro makeup brush. I'm gonna dip into Mango Pudding, which is like the orangey shade. I'm gonna tap out and I'm gonna concentrate this mango shade on the crease. I'm gonna kinda go in circular motions. It doesn't look orange. It totally looks like a mango. It's just gives you a little bit of an orangey hue without being too intense. Hopefully it builds enough to where when I use that shimmer shade, it'll still it'll still work. There will be a nice gradient. I mean, it is doing the trick, so this this orange is is perfect. With an eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna dip into almond jelly. Look at that color, it picked up a lot. And I'm gonna apply that closer to the lash line from beginning to end. I'm gonna tap, tap to build it. And then I'm gonna bring it up close to the crease but I'm tapping as I go. This one's already performing way better than the other ones. I'm gonna take that same brush. I'm gonna flip her over. I'm really happy with these shimmers. So I wanna dip into Spiced Caramel, which is like a beautiful, rich gold. And I'm going to press her on the inner corner, just like that little triangular area. I'm not gonna bring her all the way in or anything. I just kinda wanna brighten the inner eye. All right, that is looking really pretty. Same brush, I'm gonna flip it over to the deeper shade. No additional product, whatever is left on there, I'm gonna drag as close to my lash line as possible. That way it'll add a little something, something without being too much. By the way, there's a lot of fallout even though you tap out, so be really careful. So the formula's performed way better than the other palette. The only thing is, the fallout is more intense. I'm gonna repowder the under eye area because clearly that fallout kinda dulled it down a little bit, which is not cool. So I'm gonna go into all my Charlotte Tilbury and I am going to clean up under here. Now, I'm gonna curl my lashes really, really quickly. I've been using the Fashion Nova. I like the little rubber because it's so uh, squishy. 
So I really get a, a curl. Let's get into the mascara. I'm gonna apply it just on the one eye so you guys will see what I'm talking about. The way that I personally like to apply my mascara because my lashes are stubborn, I apply it on the outer portion of my lashes first. Build it there and then once that is done and I'm happy with the outcome, I'll apply mascara directly onto the root of the lash and it usually works, helps intensify my lashes and it will allow for me to hold on to like a semi curl. So I do one of those, you know, tiki tiki. I'm gonna let that start to dry. I will apply at the bottom. See the bottom lashes? That was just the one coat. One coat is more than enough for the bottom. I'm gonna go back in and do the same thing to the top. But this time I am going to start separating my lashes and applying directly on to the root. That's gonna make the root, like my lash line at the top, nice and dark, almost like tight lining without tight lining. And it helps your lashes look a lot more fuller than they actually are. I wiggle back and forth. I'm trying to make sure that I'm separating them because if there's one thing that I dislike are spidery clumped up looking lashes. And here we have my lashes with two coats at the top and one at the bottom. This looks plain Jane, so we're gonna go ahead and fix her. And now I am gonna prep my lip for the Give Them Lava Lippy. You guys already know this lip liner just by looking at it. It is the Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs. Here goes nothing, by the way. It is like super matte on the back of the hand. I'm hoping this is reformulated because if it isn't, I'm gonna end up checking it. I'm going very lightweight with it because it's a really pretty shade and I think it works well with the lip liner. It's drying and it's drying very fast. So I'm gonna go in with the lip liner just to kind of like emphasize the edges, you know? It feels different, I'm not gonna lie to you. I remember when I first tried the Give Them Lala, like the mattes, they felt so sticky and weird, but crunchy on the lips. And I have really dry lips as it is. So it was one of those things, like I didn't like the formula. Thought I did at first, and then when it dried, I was like, what the heck is going on? And it kind of chipped off of the lips fairly quickly. It feels like I have nothing on my lips. It doesn't feel drying. It does give me the butt lips though, which I don't like. I'm not trying to find things to nitpick, I'm being honest. Like, see the shade, what it's doing? It's giving me the creasing. That's okay, it wouldn't be the first or the last time. The lippy does that, it's not this brand in particular. There's a lot of them that do that. I like the color, I like the combo, and first impressions, she's not uncomfortable. I don't know how she's gonna wear. I don't know if I'm gonna hate it in the next hour, but right now, she's cute. And that's something I never thought I would say about the Give Them Lala Beauty brand because their products have been pretty disappointing as I mentioned before. So this is a first. I don't necessarily hate this. I think my makeup turned out really pretty so I have zero complaints there. This moisturizer, I like it. It doesn't leave a tacky, sticky residue, does not feel oily. My skin absorbed it fairly fast and it hydrated my skin while allowing it to look glowy. So it's a beautiful balance because you look glowy, you look hydrated, but your face does not feel like you have anything on. I really liked this. The under eye serum, I'm excited to see what this is going to do long term. It says anti-puff, anti-dark circle. Your girl needs it. If you saw the, the beginning of this video, your girl needs it. So I'm excited for that. It felt cooling under the eye. I didn't see instant changes, but it's skincare like I mentioned before. The mascara, you guys see what it did for my eyes. It does the job, it's pretty. Is it life-changing? No, but it's a really nice mascara and it makes your eyes look really pretty. This palette applied and worked beautifully, okay? I really liked her. There was hella fallout even though I tapped out. So I would say go in with your eyes first and then work with your face afterwards. She worked, she was blendable, she was pigmented, she did the job and my eyes are simple but really pretty. And I did not have to struggle, which is beautiful because this palette sucked. The Graham palette, you guys saw my review on it. I didn't like it, it was what it was. It was what it was. And I literally just told you guys about the liquid lipstick. So do I think this box was nice? I think the box was nice. But if I had to choose between premium and base and the excitement that I felt for all of the products as a whole and or individually, I would say premium was way better than the base. Base was not a miss, but it was not exciting. I didn't feel excitement over base the way I did over premium. So you guys already know, I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. So make sure you have given me your feedback in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and the like button. It really, really helps me out. Also, my giveaway is still live, so I'm linking that in the description box. Make sure you go check that out. I have more reviews, more giveaways, more more fun content coming your way. So be ready for that. And the Glam Bag X is here. So get excited because we're reviewing that here too. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.